so you may wonder I know I've been uh, getting a number of comments and questions asking me why I keep recording these videos and um, I appreciate the positive feedback from most of, of you I think uh, most of uh, people who watch these videos are outside Uganda and they are maybe in the diaspora Maybe they've been out of Kampala for quite some time and they don't know what's happening in the city. Uh, they watch the news, they see what's happening, but particularly they don't have uh, a feel of uh, what's changing around the city. And uh, in one way, the people who watch these videos find satisfaction in seeing some of the improvements, some of the challenges, some of the issues surrounding the a traffic situation within uh, within Kampala so it feels to me that some of these videos that uh, I make and post or record and post they help the different persons see what is happening what is changing what is new and uh, what is still the same but uh, my motivation also stems from the fact that I want to, to to show what Kampala looks like now because now we are in uh, 2024 and perhaps when we come back here in 10, 15, 20 years and we go through the same roads perhaps a lot will have changed or there will be really significant changes for us to look back and uh, and, and see what is happening. I know I may not be the first person to be doing this, there may be several others. I know there may be even people who have taken a, you know, a formal initiative in capturing the different parts of Kampala. But I also know that uh, when, I, when I'm going anywhere, when I'm on social media and I see a video of how Entebbe Road looked like in 1950s, and I compare to what it is now, I see that there is a lot. I've, I enjoy watching it. Maybe because I wasn't there at that time, but to see how the place has changed over the years and how new buildings, new infrastructure systems have cropped up over the years. And people want to see that kind of movement in one direction especially in a positive direction as a beacon of hope to to give them a feel that things are going to get better that it's just a matter of time that things will improve that the current state of uh, roads for example will will improve will, will change and will change for the better so that's one of the reasons why I record these videos that maybe in 10 years I look back and maybe I'm seeing a flyover here on this Mokwano road I'm seeing these changes take place and uh, maybe I'm able to interact with my kids and I'm like you know once upon a time this used to be a, just a two-lane road with lots of traffic jam with lots of inconveniences but now this is what it looks like and maybe 50 years from now your future will be different you may have flying cars that may not need even the roads but looking back on that as someone who will have taken a cons conscious decision to to document it i think that is for me very useful to the best of my knowledge i try as much as possible to capture what i know i know i'm i'm not uh, i'm not an expert on Kampala affairs or on the city infrastructure but I try that so as we as I continue to do this I hope it will last I hope I'll keep motivated to keep doing it I hope maybe if I'm not around someone else will pick it up and uh, continue doing the same I hope we take initiative even elsewhere outside Kampala to to consider the same and see how to, to put it on record that once this was a swamp 
with nothing but Camp 2024. We have a two lane road here, very freely flowing traffic, things have improved, road furniture in place, and there is no worry whatsoever. That this in Sambia Junction at some point was a traffic nightmare. But now we have an underpass that eases traffic flow. We have a flyover at the clock tower that makes things even much better. So I want to be able to look back and tell people that uh, we once used to cross the road this like this, but now this is what we do. And hopefully everything will change for the better. And now as we we capture these details, as we document what Kampala is and what it looks like at the moment, let's take pride in keeping our city clean. Let's take it in a way that this infrastructure that has been added to the collection is maintained so that we keep building on the improvements that we, we get every now and then. I want to tell people that we once had a clock tower that was at the center of the, of the intersection and now it was relocated just on the side. And tell them the history that comes with that. This is something I want to, to be able to, to capture. Yeah, so that's why I do these videos. That's why I try to bring them to light and open them up for discussion. So feel free always to share your comments, to share your views and to, to give me your perspective on what, what you think. For now, I remain available to capture those areas that you feel have not yet captured. It's still work in progress. I welcome all beautiful ideas, comments, feedback. I'm open to that. Why you think I've not clearly brought out something, leave it in the comment section. Um, it will help other viewers to, to understand better. Yeah, that, that, that's all I wanted to communicate today and basically to give you a background to, to why I'm doing this and why it's important that we, we do this. You take care, have a good day wherever you're watching from. Bye-bye.